What is up guys, ManBearPig here with a little tutorial on Sony Vegas rendering settings. Uh, these are the best settings you can get, I think. Uh, it has amazing quality and render times aren't an hour or something ridiculous. Uh, I rendered a 8 minute uh, HD video, 1080p, in about 13 minutes. And if you want to put on the lowest settings, it'll still look okay, decent, 720p. You can render it in less time than the video actually is. So you can end up rendering like an 8 minute video in like 5 minutes or something awesome like that. So to start out, this is what I use. No, I don't use, I use 8-bit, I don't know why it's on that. Um, I use the HD 1080 by 60i, 1920, 29 frames per second. Uh, upper field first, square, original, 29 frames per second. 8-bit, best, Gaussian, no de interlinks And then start all new projects with these. So I'll give you a second to look at that, uh, copy those settings if this is what you're going to use. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm trying to get this out of the way really quickly, so it's not a super long video because I hate when people have like 10 minute tutorials on something this easy. Uh, keep every other tab the same. I have it on this, but it's normally on 4800, but that's because I have a blue snowball and that's what it recommends to put the sample rate on. Uh, all that's the same. Now go to the render settings. This is the most important part. Let me drop a video clip in there real quick. Vegas, okay, what the heck. Video, battlefield video, sweet. Okay, so you're gonna wanna click down to render as. What the heck, where did it go? Okay, I think I deleted it by accident. And, uh, everybody else renders, a lot of people render in Windows Media Video. I'm telling you right now go to this one main concept it works so good I was surprised at how well it is here it is there we go um main concept AVC AAC MP4 scroll down to internet HD 1080p customized template uh, at the top name it whatever you want YouTube quality best quality whatever you think is good uh, and then name it go down here keep everything here the same uh, then go to variable bitrate, you don't want that, hit constant. Then change it to 20 million. And then if you want the best uh, quality, then do two number of reference frames and then use the blocking filter. This will make it go over the uh, render over the video twice, but if you want to save time, you can just do one. It doesn't make that huge of a difference, but I just like to have it the best. Uh, keep audio the same system. Oh, I forgot something. Go back to video, and then automatic encode mode. Make sure you have it set as rendering, render using GPU if available. Then go over to system and hit check GPU, and if it says CUDA is available or OpenGL or something is available, that means your graphics card can do graphics acceleration. Sorry, I got a tongue twister there for a second. And that'll help speed it up a ton, so make sure that's on and make sure that your graphics card is compatible for project do best and keep that one there and these are pretty much the best rendering settings you can have for Sony Vegas 11 um, it'll turn out great if you render it in these settings and you won't be waiting hours if you have any friends that like to render videos make YouTube videos longboard videos I don't know whatever videos they make be sure to show them this because then they'll be able to have really nice quality videos and it'll help them out in the end Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped, and peace out. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and sub if you enjoyed.